So here's another way of looking at um, this schematic diagram of a power plant. Okay, uh, we call this transfer of energy thermodynamics. Okay, it's how we keep track of and model the movement of energy from one form to another. And as it turns out, the first law of thermodynamics is actually the um, law of energy uh, conservation, and that is that energy is neither created nor destroyed in the universe. And so um, the important thing to, to note here, a lot of times when people hear that energy is neither created nor destroyed, that energy is conserved, um, they think, well, then we don't have an energy crisis because we can always transform it you know, back into um, you know, a useful form of energy. But the problem is that every time we transfer energy from one type to another um, in the form of work, we do uh, what we say, quote unquote, lose a little bit of energy in the form of heat. And it's still there, it's just not useful energy. It's just random vibrational um, energy that eventually um, is lost to the you know, outer universe outside the Earth um, to the rest of outer space in the form of heat. So um, if you start off with all of this potential energy that we have in the fuel molecules um, that we have in the, what they call the fuel reserves down underground, um, if you start with that potential energy that <clears throat> took years and years to uh, accumulate all of that potential energy, um, and then you just very quickly uh, burn it uh, in, the, in the burner, <clears throat> that potential energy is then converted to kinetic energy. It's the kinetic energy is the movement of the, um, of the, uh, of the, of the water molecules as they move um, from the uh, liquid to the gas. Then the gas is directed uh, through a pipe. Um, it needs to be directed through a pipe um, so that it can flip the paddles of a turbine, um, and they say that it's converted to mechanical energy, but really that's just another form of kinetic energy. In the generator, you set up um, this electric potential, which is a potential energy difference for the ele electric energy, and then it's converted to another form of kinetic energy, the current, um, as it, it moves through the wires. So um, a lot of times when we talk about energy transfer, um, it, it gets a little bit confusing because we say there's only two types, kinetic and potential, and then all these other types show up, mechanical, electrical, and whatnot, but they're just variations on either potential or kinetic. And the other thing that's important to keep in mind is how you view your system. Um, when we think of the potential energy of the fuel molecules, um, we're thinking on a microscopic scale, literally the, um, the relationship of one atom to, next to the other atom, it's, it's electrostatic potential energy. Um, in these chemical bonds, and then um, when the um, potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, again we're thinking of um, you know as the energy is transferred to heat uh, energy, the really what's happening is the molecules are moving faster and faster, which we perceive as um, more thermal energy or a hotter situation because it is. So we have to go back and forth between um, you know, kinetic energy and potential energy on a macroscopic scale versus a microscopic scale. But the microscopic kinetic energy of the molecules is what um, does the work to drive the turbine. So it is a conversion of um, microscopic kinetic energy to really macroscopic kinetic energy, but it's still all kinetic energy. It's energy of movement. Um, and that is done um, by, by, by an energy transfer called work, okay? And then all the way out to the energy transfer. So every time we transfer energy, um, we are either giving off heat or um, we are giving off, or we are um, doing work, one or the other. That's the transfer part, okay? So let's see, so let's be specific about defining heat and work. So there's two different types of energy, kinetic and potential, but they move, or energy is transferred in the form of heat or work. And so heat, a lot of times we abbreviate heat with a little lowercase q. That involves the transfer of energy between two objects due to a temperature difference. It's unorganized energy transfer, and it's due to the vibrations of the molecules. And we saw that last time when we recognized that you know, um, <clears throat> infrared radiation increases the vibrations, and we know that that is a way of, of heat transfer through infrared radiation. And then heat is given off by a chemical change, and that change is said to be exothermic. So anytime we have a chemical change um, and heat is given off, we call that chemical change exothermic. 
And then the opposite, if heat is taken up upon a chemical change, that change is said to be endothermic. So we have directional um, changes, whether heat is given off or taken up across a chemical change. And then, uh, okay, so that's one way that energy is transferred, is in the form of heat. And the other way is in the form of work, and that's just lowercase w. And work, of course, is defined as a force acting over a distance. And this type of energy transfer is organized and directional. Okay, so whereas heat is unorganized and it's just vibrational, the, um, the work is organized and directional. So we can have heat, for example, a transfer of heat energy from the burner to the water um, by conduction, heat conduction. And then the water molecules um, pick up that um, energy in the form of heat and they um, can then do work when they are, um, you know, uh, uh, when you put them in a, and when you force them to go through a certain direction, for example, up a pipe. Okay, if you don't have any kind of machinery around your, um, say you're boiling water and you're just boiling it on the stove and you're not capturing the steam in any way, then you're not going to get any work out of that system. You're just going to just be, um, sort of, um, that energy is just going to be transferred into heat. It's just going to be dissipated um, throughout the surroundings. But if you're, if you're thoughtful about how you um, manufacture your, your, your tools, then you can catch that heat energy in the form of steam and um, direct it through a pipe. And because you've added direction and you've organized it, you can get it to do work for you. For example, turning the paddles of a turbine, which can then generate electricity.